Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Venkatesh. I am a DevOps engineer. This is a DevOps Pro Junction YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see one of the topic related to volumes in AWS. I am going to show you how to detach the volume and attach to the new instance on the same availability zone. And also in the scenario two, we are going to see how to attach in the different availability zone. So this is what we are going to see in the practical way. Before that, I'm making a lot of videos with effort related to cloud and DevOps. I believe these videos are helpful. If you find these videos are helpful, give thumbs up, subscribe my channel and follow for the more videos. It will be encourage me to make lot of videos. Let's dive into the today talk. So here I have already created the three instance. This is the instance which I have created, which, which is having the volume. We are going to detach the volume from here and uh, we are going to attach the uh, new volume on this instance. You can see now. So I have the uh, storage. I have extra of 10 GB storage. So let me uh, first detach the volume from the instance. For that, you have to select this volume and you can uh, move on to the volume section in the tab. You can see here we are under the volume section. Now you can see this uh, volume. This is under right now on use and this is uh, is connected with our us is to one a detach instance so this is what this is not encrypted or something so let's me detach to detach this volume we have to go to the actions option and uh, give detach so once you give this let me refresh this one so you can see now so once we do refresh you can see now now it is available before it was on the in use you can also check in the section uh, here you can see that uh, we don't have the volume so next what we are going to do uh, we are going to attach it to the same availability zone. Okay. So for that, I'm going to select this instance and you can note down the instance ID and go to the particular volume where you want to attach it. Select the volume, go to the actions and you can give attach the volume and uh, you can choose the volume ID here. So I, this is our volume ID and you can choose any one of this uh, whatever you want. Now I'm going to choose slash dev uh, SDN. So this is the uh, data volume type. I'm going to use it here and to attach. So once you attach this instance, it will become uh, attached to your new uh, attach instance. You can see now. So we have total two and uh, this is our new attached volume. And also you can check in the storage section by refreshing it. You can see here. So we got our uh, newly volume got attached. Now what we need to do we have to mount the wall to mount this wall uh, i'm going to connect this instance on my putty server so we need to do the mount to do the mount let me check the block lsblk so we can see that here we have 10 gb which is added but we did not mount it to do the mount we we need to create some directory or you can see create some files whatever so i'm creating mounting and then let's do the mount process sudo mount then slash dev xvdx then root let me check lsblk now you can see we got mounted this instance to the new instance so we have detached the instance and we have done the attached to the new instance so this is like you can do the mount process this is for the same availability zone which i am talking so now we want to do it for the different availability zone so for that i have already created the one of the instance here so to uh, attach now we are going to detach from this particular instance and we are going to attach to this particular different availability zone. For that, what I am going to do, I am going to detach from this particular volume from this instance. Let me detach it.
now it is available we want to attach to the different availabilities for that we have to create a snapshot we are going to create so we can give some description whatever you want i'm giving create snapshot and here i have created the snapshot so this is my snapshot id which i got created uh you can go to the snapshot option and here you can see it is on pending state so it will become available another uh one two three minutes so we have to wait for that now you can see our snapshot is 100 percentage available so we have to uh, create from this snapshot as a volume to do that you can select the snapshot and go to the action and uh, he, you can do uh, create volume from the snapshot and this is the volume we are going to create and you can choose the availability zone i want to create it on the us east 1b so once you give that you can give create your volume and your volume got successfully created you can go to this volume section here now uh you can check now we got created with the another volume on the 1b zone you can see here we go, we have the 1b zone we have the new volume which is got created recently this is how you can create the volume and now you are into this uh, 1b zone you can attach this volume to your ins to do that you can go to the actions and attach volume and you can find your 1b instance you can choose any any of the any of the device data type and do the attach now you can see here you will get your volume on your 1b instance again you have to do the mounting process so once you've done the mounting process it's totally done this is how you can create your volume from the different availability zone so i believe this video is helpful regarding this two kind of scenarios which i have explained it i also give you some uh, documentation regarding this in the github repository i will give you in the description you can go and check out so i believe this video is helpful if you find this video is helpful give thumbs up subscribe my channel and follow for the more videos Let's see you in the another topic.